Is the Batman Batcave Clayface Invasion really worth your hundred bucks? That is what we're gonna be talking about today. What's up you guys, it's Ryan. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to my channel, hi and welcome to what we got going on here. We like to talk about all things Lego, but today we're gonna be covering the Batcave, seeing if the one that is available on lego.com is worth your hundred bucks. I've got it right up over there, and I'm gonna show you guys and talk about it. Show you guys and talk about it. What? I'm gonna show you guys the set, and we're gonna talk about it and see if it was worth my 100 bucks to let you know if it's gonna be worth your 100 bucks, which at the end of the day, that's just your opinion, if it's worth it. You may not even be into Batman. You may be like, yeah, dude, no not happening, or you may be into it and you're like, yeah, dude, that's worth it. It's all a matter of opinion anyway, so let's talk about it. This is the third version that they have done a Batcave. So let's take a quick look at the prior ones. The Batman classic TV series Batcave. Now this was set 76052, 2,526 pieces, ages 14 and up. Definitely a little bit bigger. I love the car that came with this one. And you also got the helicopter with the, the fancy pantsy little room up on the top right and the helicopter pad and whatnot. So definitely a cool looking set. I like that one a lot. And I also like the color choice that felt very earthy. However, I feel like in the movies and stuff, it's much more dark, like black and dark grays, but I think this one looked nice as well. Although this is from the TV series, so I shouldn't really critique it that much because it may be light brown. So I may have totally misspoken there, but who knows. Is the Batcave break-in. This is set 70909, 1047 pieces, ages eight to 14. That's definitely a little bit older. And that one I did like though, cause you got a couple of the Batman suits, which they're not the coolest in the world, but you got them. And then you also had Alfred and Bruce Wayne in his white tuxedo, which was pretty cool. So. That was kind of a cool one. It definitely felt a little childish and tacky. Maybe the color choices they chose, I don't know, but it wasn't the coolest looking of all of them. So I'm not comparing apples to apples. It's just kind of seeing what did the old ones look like and where are we at today? All right guys, so let's jump into the set and let's see if it was worth it. So this is the Batcave Clayface Invasion. This is set number 76122. You get 650 VIP points, 1,038 pieces, ages eight and up. $100, you get one, two, three, four, five, six minifigs and uh, pretty much like a mech or whatever you wanna call them. All right guys, so the minifigures in the set are gonna be Two-Face, Catwoman, Batwoman, Robin, Bruce Wayne, and Batman. My favorite minifig in the set is probably gonna be Two-Face. I really like you know, his double face, obviously Two-Face, um, and his hair piece and everything. So I think his torso, face, and hair piece are really cool. And I definitely think he's my favorite of this because Batman's kind of, Batman and Robin have been in so many sets so they're not unique. Uh, Catwoman and Batwoman, not too shabby as well. I'm okay with those. Uh, but Two-Face is definitely my favorite in this entire set. I definitely think that they are missing Alfred. I really, 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 really wish that Alfred was in the set. I really wanted Alfred so badly, but he unfortunately wasn't. Um, I would have rather seen Alfred than Bruce Wayne or like, you know, Catwoman or Batwoman. I think they could have flipped one of those out and put Alfred in. I think the mech is okay. I'm not the biggest fan of like those. I'm not like against them or anything like that, but you gotta make sure it's balanced right for it to stand up all the time. Um, but overall, like it, it, it's fine. I'm not the biggest critique of it, but I think the way they built him was actually kind of cool. And, and I'll definitely, you know, I'm, I'm happy with him. I don't think he's bad or anything like that. Now, when it comes to the vehicle, it's not, it's not too shabby. I'm okay with it. I wish it was more of a Batmobile versus this little car thing but it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of unique to this set. So I, I, I like the look of it and everything. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like a Batmobile would have been a little bit more suited with how few pieces that they're already putting in this set. I know it would have taken up probably way too many to do something like that, but you know, it, this one's okay. I'm okay with the vehicle that they got in it. So let's just kind of break down the set from there. They have the jail on the left with the nice little cell tower thing with the bat sign on it. You've got the little jet pack section that you can throw on Batman for him to fly away or whatever. And then you've got the little tunnel part, which I think the tunnel part is really creative and really cool. I think that's a good play functionality, which we'll jump into in a second. And I love the computer section with all the screens. I think that was extremely well done, better than what they had done in the past and everything before. And especially if you have little like Lego lights that you can put on the little top part to light down, like in real life, that'd be pretty cool. On the right of that little elevator section that you know starts from the top and drops down. It's kind of flimsy the way it was built, but I think it looks good overall. Um, and I and I think the set entirety is is really cool looking. I think they really should have bumped it up though, and probably done 
1500 to 1800 pieces or something like that and made it 150 bucks or something they could have really made it more robust so now if we jump into the play functionalities i love this set for the play functionalities you've got the mech you've got the car the car actually shoots out the bullets when you press on them so that's really fun the jail where side of it actually breaks out so they can break them out there's that play functionality there the jetpack part which you can put on them the computer area that spins around in the chair and stuff so really cool which we kind of talked about already and then you have the elevator that goes up and down so really we've already kind of covered the play functionalities but the play functionalities i think were really um you know crucial for a set that's only 100 bucks i think it has a good amount of play functionalities in it and it's something that my son and daughter actually at when when we were done building it together because my son and i built it together um, when we were done my daughter and my son just sat there and played with it for hours and they loved it obviously you know my kids get a kick out of it because when we're done building a set they get to play with it and then i put it behind here or somewhere down here where they don't get to play with it all the time so i don't know how long lasting the play functionalities are with it if the kids get bored of it quick or whatnot but i know my kids enjoyed it so for those of you that care about the play functionalities it it wasn't too shabby now for 100 bucks the price to piece that's not too bad obviously with a license set it's it's going to be somewhere around this which is expected now we could have expected you know maybe a little bit worse price to piece on this set but i think it's actually pretty fair for it um, there's obviously a lot of smaller pieces and some more, there's a good amount of variety in this set. And so I'm, I'm fine with the price to piece. The minifigs I would say are good. I wouldn't say they're amazing. I wouldn't say they're bad. I would just say they're a solid good. Uh, I love the Two-Face minifig. You get the Batwoman, Catwoman, and you know, Bruce, Batman, and Robin. So I think that's really cool with the minifigs. I don't have any issues with those. Again, like I said, I just wish there was Alfred in the set. So. It would have been nice if they would have added him. And overall, the play functionalities are pretty good. So the set, the price per piece is good. The minifigs are fine. The play functionalities are good. Overall, I think the set is worth a hundred bucks. Now I have a lot of hundred dollar sets and all of them have kind of their pros and cons. This one's just, you know, or they have like strengths and weaknesses, but I think this one's just a good across the board in like all three sections, the price of it for what you're getting, the minifig selection and the play functionalities. I think it's just a, a solid good across the board. If you're just interested to know if it was worth it, I think it is worth it. And uh, that's just my opinion. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video.